Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The House. Specifically, this video will be covering the entire series, which is The House 1, The House 2, and The Halloween Special. And all these are a series of Flash horror adventure games that came out in the mid-2000s, and they were quite popular back in the day, and pretty spooky. Get inside. Knock knock. You are now inside the house. Listen to that stock door opening sound. First room, the dining room. Hey, something dropped. Ball. Baby. Hey. Someone here? I guess I'm clicking each family member. That was a bad one to click. We're in trouble. I'm hearing all the sounds. Now what? It's like a clicking game. Hey, kid. Looks like they want to head out of here. So I guess the whole theme of the game is we just click and we hope things happen. I suppose that's comforting in some levels, but also not. Ah! Cheap jump scare. Go to the next room. Okay. So, you might be wondering... Second room, the bathroom. Why Manly never played this game, despite this being back in 2005, I would have obviously seen this game in existence. Um, I think, I vaguely remember hearing about, I think, the house one. I might have even clicked it. it it's, I honestly have a blank memory, but I just have a vague remembrance of the name and the black and white aesthetic. But old Manly would have been too scared to play this. Uh, you're used to current Manly, but in those days, horror games were still very much a new thing. So, for example, like, I rendered Resident Evil 2, I never got past the basketball court. Because if you played Resident Evil 2 when it first came out, despite the print of graphics today, uh, it would have blown your mind at the time. There was nothing like it before that. At the most, you might have gotten some vague horror things like Echo the Dolphins endgame areas, or um, little things like that, or the final bosses of Contra and stuff. Nothing like that. So even a simple Flash game could scare the hell out of you back then. Happy birthday, Mom. We know that you su that you're suffer from illness. I guess so. But we're sure that you will be fine soon. And love you. Pills here. It's your flush. God, it's like a pixel finding game. I love you too, kids. I will not leave you. I promise. I promise. Ah. Hey. No. Oh, the bathroom is, uh... The tub is flooding. Great. That's flooding with blood, too. Yep. You got yourself some plumbing problems and a ghost problem. Um, the plumbing problem is worse. That's gonna cause some wood rot and some termite damage eventually. Go away. Blank. Just like my future life. Non-existent. Oh, oh, oh. You were just thinking going to know are you being there. Uh, stupid simple jump scares. Go to the next room. Sure. Third room, the kitchen. Let's see, it's March 5th. Cancer treatment, huh. Oh. Spooky doll. Absolutely ugly. I hope they didn't hear me say that. It's gonna jump scare me. Weird noise. I mean, the, the calendar didn't change. The doll didn't change. Is there anything else to click on around here? 
Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Hi! Hello, shadow person. That doll's gonna get revenge for me, like, commenting on, isn't it? Oh, something dropped. St. Martin. Student ID card. Miss Maria. Okay. Sure. We're about to be jump scared. They're playing that atmospheric music. I can throw a hand or a face in my face. Oh no, the card's gonna move on. Not as bad as I thought. Next room. Fourth room, the living room. What's this? Hey, buddy. Can we get you to play? I'm trying to figure out where I have to click on you to get you to work. This is a very primitive game, if you haven't noticed. Let me just keep you on my screen and something will happen. There we go. Now, okay, click the portrait. Oh, yeah, the eyes are moving. We're in uh, the Haunted House of Disney ride. And there's the theme song. Sweet. Hey, secret. Sorry, and goodbye. Can't really read that last one very well. And so lucky to be with. I will always love you. I am. Goodbye, honey. I'm assuming. But where's the secret gold? Uh. <laughs> what? Hey. Goes to the father? Hey, you're looking at me. I see that. Don't do the eye bleeding thing. <laughs> what? Go to the next room. It's symbolic, see? We're separating ties with the family. Corridor. This is where things aren't gonna turn out good, because it's the abyss right there. Oh no, we have light. Everything will be fine. Light will protect us. I'm sorry to God for what I have done. I love my family, so I kill all oh, my family. It's the only thing I can do to stay together with them forever. I don't think it works like that. Sure. We're gonna turn off the light, because we're not smart. And we're gonna turn it on again. I'm trying to figure out what else can I click around here. Maybe I need to keep the light off. Or just keep flipping it on and off and something's gonna happen. Like, um, the Bloody Mary ritual. You know what I mean? Yes, I was right. Okay, that's shorted. We are doomed. And there's blood. We're surrounded. Goodbye, everybody. Nope. <laughs> so, the random hands and little jump scares like that can get me, but like the real obvious ones where it's like obviously gonna scream or at you, uh, those usually just make me more of a laugh. But anyway, on to the house, too. The legend has it that there was a house in a small town that's been closed and left empty for decades. The house belonged to a wealthy family, but then one day all family members, father, mother, and daughter, and the maid committed suicide. Great. From that time, the neighbors have closed the house for good as they believe that the house where all family committed suicide is cursed. Great. Some said that they have heard a woman's screaming voice from that house. Fabulous. Yet no one dared to enter the house. Are you? Apparently we are. 
We never play smart characters. We play characters who should reevaluate their life choices. They should take a vacation somewhere nice. Maybe somewhere like cozy with beaches. Ghosts don't go to the beach. They hate getting tans. There's blood. This was barred for a reason. I don't have a choice, so here we go. Let me in. I'm here for the gold. You are now inside the house. Two. First, the living room. September 19th, 1964. I can feel something strange in this house. I actually feel it since the first day I came to work here as a nursemaid. I'm so afraid of that thing, should I quit? Afraid of what? What a nice looking family. Now, can we manually switch rooms or is it still the same gimmick as the previous game? I don't know, like, the, the development gap here. I hear noises. Oh. Something's above us. Hello? Spoke too soon. This has not changed. I've been waiting for a jump scare on that. I can't tell if that blood was there before. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna assume it wasn't. Nope, never mind. There. <laughs> Daughter's year of birth. Sometimes she talked alone, sometimes she laughed at night, and sometimes she called somebody. We're getting a short here. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. She's not... What? She's not what? It's alright. Could be a friendly ghost. Second, the bathroom. Turn on the water. Buy more. Oh god, there's gonna be a jump scare in the shower. Oh no. That's such an obvious one. You can tell there's new blood stains in that. I heard the shower running. Hey! Get out of here. I'm trying to test your plumbing. It's gonna be there, and say catch me off guard one of these times. All right, there we go. Blood in the sink. Yep, you got yourself a good old-fashioned haunting. Um, that's gonna be an extra cost to uh, declog this. I'm truly sorry for what I have done to our kid. Please forgive me. And our kid, look what you did to the pipes. Well, at least the toilet's not clogged with blood. Okay. Shower curtain. Fine. Oh! It's fine, it's just feet. It's not the first time we've encountered ghost feet. Now it's a person. Hey, no one's there. I think they want me to forgive them. For the bedroom. So this is barred up. Useless. Um, Teddy. Nope. So this is actually gonna be muted. 
because it's a, a classical public domain song, which is basically meaning it's going to get you copyright claimed just due to how the system works. Sadly. But it, it's Silent Night, basically. All right. Certificate adoption. Nicole Imani Prude. Little kid just left. There we go. Oh, we knew. She comes every night. Cool. She loves playing hide and seek. She's really good in hiding. I never find her. Hey, get out of here. Play with me. Oh, here we go. A new note. Oh, look. It's like the beginning of the first game. Hey, hello, everybody. All right. Fourth, the working room. Came for a double pass. Light does not work. Something there, like a rope. Okay, we got light. Nitric acid. Birth registration known as Marina. This is gonna be a flicking light thing again, isn't it? What else can I click? Hey! Oh, look, there's something there. Safe room key. Sweet. The gold. And we got some light, at least. Useless. Useless. Got whispers. Incoming. I think it's something about the dark. Oh, it's gone. I can't stand to see you suffer like this anymore. Rest in peace, my poor child. You're gonna jump scare me. It's coming. Maybe not. Maybe we're cool. Hey. That's it. Get in the dark. The safe room. Get in the safe room. Although it's that kind of safe room. Not a actually safe room. So it was the birthday. Okay, you can go around. October 8th, 1947. Two ways it can go. Okay, no, that was it. Why? Why have I to die, Mom? I want to live no matter what. I don't know. I have nothing to do with this. You leave me alone. I'm just here for the gold. Cool. I think we're fine. Ignore the footsteps. Okay. I think we can leave. I think they're gonna jump scare me. Uh oh. It's still fine though. 
Just a little flashing lights, you know, it's cool. Does a kid play hiding and seek? It's fine. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> you found a key to the special room. This house has been the site of a group suicide and has been left empty for decades since the house was once the home of a small family, father, mother, daughter, and the maid. Something unusual happened in the house. The maid could feel it when she was just moved to work here. Look at their daughter. And she also came across something that should not be known about the daughter. That the daughter was not the real daughter of the couple, but she was the orphan that this couple had adopted. The maid also knew that the couple used to have their own child before, named Alarena. But before the maid learned more about this family, she was killed. The stepdaughter also did not know that the couple, her parents whom she stayed with, had their own child before, and she often saw a long-haired girl during the nighttime. And where's Alarena, the real daughter of the couple? Arena was born in 1947, severely disabled. The couple raised her for some time, but knew that so that she must have been suffering and would never have a good future. So the couple poisoned her and put her dead body into the safe. Christ. Putting the code as Alrena's birth year. Ever since then, that room has been locked and no one has ever been in there. Time went by and the couple adopted the child, but they never forget what they had done in the past. And were sometimes still confirmed with Alrena. Finally, that family all decided to commit suicide. Wow. But Alrena's spirit is still there in the house. And she's grown up. She's not been dead, as she wanted to live. Alright, this is the last one, the Halloween special. Nice pumpkin. This is Halloween. Um, pumpkin's floating, if that wasn't designed. Here we go. What do we do? Flash the lights on and off again? I don't see anything else to click around there. Has there been changes to mechanics I don't know about? No, I just have to keep clicking that light. What's the pumpkin going to do in the end? Okay. That answered that. How you doing? Is your name Jack? Last name Lantern? Let's see. I think I'll look at the studio. Halloween is an annual holiday observed on October 31st, primarily in the United States. Canada, Ireland, and the United Kingdom. It has roots in the Celtic Festival of Samhain. And the Christian holiday All Saints Day. But it's today largely a secular celebration. Common Halloween activities include trick-or-treating, wearing costumes, ghost ha tours, bonfires, apple bobbing, visiting haunted attractions, telling ghost stories or other frightening tales, watching horror films, and playing the house. So this, I guess I like a little thing from the developers. Hey, you broke my light. Never mind, something's coming. Hey, buddy. Hey. You come for the Halloween party? Cool. It's getting kind of boring here in the first place. Same dialogue. I guess I just keep clicking the light off and on. No. Hey! We doing? This is the city. Scan this. Huh. Let me put that on the screen. You're welcome to scan that if you want. It's 
all you do, Jack-O-Lantern. You're just there. Do something for once in your life. Contribute. Hey! Hey. Oh no. Jack got insulted and left. Oh god. Here comes the jump scare combo. Still the sick. We're full cool. That's still the same. Come on now. Cut it out. Alright, we're dead. The light wouldn't even turn on. Come on. Give me some life. I mean light. Thank you. Hey! Cool. Oh, Jack, you're back. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about what earlier. Sorry about that. We cool now, right? Cool. So that's it for the house series. Basically a kind of walkthrough of jump scares, which is fine. You know, it's atmospheric, it's spooky, it's old school. You could vaguely argue it's better made than some very uh, kind of um, cheap indie horror games nowadays. Not to like insult them or anything, because a lot of those are like very indie projects, but more in the sense of utilization of very quick burst atmosphere. Because most of the time they're both trying to like just jump scare you. But the house does a pretty good job of at least kind of setting up a skin around the jump scare. It's got that old kind of flash cheapness of, oh, scary face appears in front of you. But this was the mid-2000s. That was a pretty kind of unique and nifty concept at the time. Even if I never partook of it, because screamers were everywhere back then, and you can never trust the link. So just don't, don't click anything. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the house series. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.